Hi everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a review and first impression of the L'Oreal Paris Nude Magic uh, Detent. This one? It is in colour 120 Pure Ivory. So I hope this is my colour. <laughs> so what I've done first is I've just primed my skin with the Benefit Pore Filler. And now I'm just going to go in with my Benefit Erase Paste and just conceal what I need to conceal and then I'll be starting the foundation okay so I have concealed my face and now with this it says our lightest foundation formula ever so I'm guessing it's not gonna be a very like full coverage foundation and it says directions for you shake well before loose before use and then apply a drop to your finger. The feather like foundation feels as light and fresh as water, instantly fuses with the skin, blending seamlessly to leave a silky second skin effect. Perfect bare skin look, naturally even shine free look, undetectable coverage, silky soft touch and no makeup feel. It is also non-pore clogging and it is SPF 18. I'm just going to clip my hair back so I don't get my hair in the way. So now I'm just going to shake it. And I'm guessing you apply it with your hands since it is supposed to be really watery instead of a brush or a sponge. Oh my god, that is really watery. Okay. Oh, so it's got a kind of nice feel to it. It sort of feels silky. The coverage is not that great, but I don't think it's supposed to be. I think you just use it if you're like you're not a big makeup wearer and you just want something to like just cover your face or if you don't need to wear foundation very much then I think this will be perfect for you but you just want it to like even out your skin tone it actually feels really nice like the feeling of it feels like silk so I do have a couple pimples and it's not like fully covered them up but it has like it doesn't make them look like they're obvious like some foundations do I'm not used to applying with my finger so sorry if I'm doing it the wrong way with my hands I just I don't know how else to apply it because it's really runny and it sort of dries quick so I just want to work on a little bit at a time and it honestly, it doesn't feel like you need a setting powder at all. Like, I'm someone that uses setting powders with every foundation I use. And this one just doesn't feel like you need one. But I still probably will since that's just what I do. I think I just feel more comfy knowing that I have a setting powder. And the powder I use also gives it my face just a little bit more coverage than what the foundation does. So it'll help with the spots that I want. It seriously feels like you're not wearing anything, which is crazy. So I've done a first layer and I'm just going to apply a little bit more to the areas that I would like a bit more coverage and I'm hoping that it is going to cover it a bit. So we will see. So I think you will be able to layer this up really well because I just did a second layer on my cheek and that was one of the first things I did and it seems to have gone on fine like you can't tell any difference from the rest of your face so if you like me and you like a little bit of extra coverage I think just do that and see how you go so it actually feels really nice on my skin like it feels like I'm barely wearing any makeup it's just really lightweight it feels really nice it doesn't have the best coverage but the coverage isn't so bad like it's a lot better than I thought it would be for quite a watery foundation but besides that I think it's quite good I'm hoping it's gonna last throughout the day but before that I might just conceal my eyes just a bit more because I do have bags and just a little red spots 
just so I'm not worried about it during the day at work. So now I'm just going to quickly powder my face off and then I'm going to finish the rest of the makeup. So to powder off my face, I'm just going to be using my Rimmel London Stay Matte in 001 Translucent. No, I'm not because I need to alkalize that to make it go back together. So instead I'm going to be using my Fit Me Powder Foundation in 210 Sandy Beige. So you definitely don't need to powder off your face because I feel in my face compared to the powder and there isn't a huge difference. But like again I said before that the powder does give me just that bit more coverage. See I don't even know where I've powdered off. <laughs> I'm hoping I've powdered everything. I think I have. Okay so now I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. So I just finished my makeup for today. Um, everything went on well on the foundation. I think the longer it stays on your face, like, the nicer it looks. <laughs> like, I think it looks a lot nicer than it did when I did it. And now that it's all together, I think it looks a lot nicer. <laughs> I really hope this lasts throughout the day because if it doesn't, that really sucks. <laughs> I only really have work for three hours. Not very long today. So I it's one o'clock um it's twelve o'clock and I start work at one and I finish at four. So it's not it's not that long a shift. So it should last those three hours, hopefully. But yeah, besides that it feels really nice. I like I don't feel like my skin is having hard trouble breathing at all. And I actually think it looks quite natural. I think it's because, I don't know if you can see on camera, but you can still sort of see my freckles poking out through it, which I'm not a huge fan of my freckles, but I actually don't mind it today. It actually looks okay, I think. Ah, uh, and I'm sorry about wearing my pyjama top. I completely forgot to change out of it, and it's just so comfy, and it's quite a cold day here, even though it's summer. So I was just comfy, and I didn't even think about it. At least it doesn't look too pajamery. So I'm gonna do the flash test and see what my face looks like with a flash. And I'm hoping that it is good. Oh my god, I hate flash. And I've got this. <laughs> I have this little like baby here. He was doing it to me yesterday where this bit was like chilling at work and I was like what the hell is that and it's just my baby hair that just doesn't want to stay but this little bits here right now it looks terrible in the photo <laughs> as it says it has SPF in it which does make your face a bit whiter with the, the stuff of it in it <laughs> so it has come back with a little bit of a white face or it's just me because I'm so pale <laughs> overall it's not too bad except I've like fully zoomed in on my face how weird is that I'm showing you me and it's quite glittery but overall I think it is really nice I will check back with you guys at 4 o'clock and I'll see how it has held up so I'll see you guys then. So it is now 6.23 p.m. and I worked for three hours. The foundation has held up quite well since it is a light coverage except it is coming off here and it has come off on a pimple on my lip but besides that I would say it looks pretty good. I don't think the makeup looks that patchy or anything and I think it's held up quite well. So I am quite happy with it and I'll probably be wearing this a bit in summer as your makeup melts off your face and it just feels gross. So it's nice to have a light cover foundation. So I would definitely recommend using this if you like light covered foundation better. So I hope you guys like this review and I'll see you guys later. Bye!